Anything interesting going on on Cowboys Twitter, Seth? Huh? You guys dead in the water over there, or what? Yeah, just a lot of uh, speculation. Uh, after the the trades that we've made and the acquisitions we've got, you know, bringing back Dante Fowler, signing a guard, getting Brandon Cooks over the weekend. Um, it's basically up to mock drafts, and here we go with the bullshit. You know, I think every, I've seen them all over. I've seen it from every fan base. I've seen it from every writer blogger, uh, you know, whatever it is, it's mock drafts and they're goofy. They're dumb as hell. And here they go. You know, you got to get in there and get, you give you a couple good roast comments. If you see a bad one, just give them their, you know, get them in there. You're an idiot. You know, basically just give them one of those from Barrow or Trammell right there. And, um, you know, just let them have it. That's all we're, that's all we're dealing with is the, Keep the beat writers, you know, um, <laughs> hoping and praying that certain players fall, you know, um, Dalton Schultz got left. He left on a, on a nine year million dollar deal to the Texans. So here we go. 26. Apparently we're taking a tight end and all this other jazz. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm excited for the draft. You know, I've never, I don't think I've been this excited to go into a draft just to see, cause it's not even like a, a big, we need a guy person. You know, we've always needed a guy out there. We've always needed a tackle. We've always needed linemen, but I think, I think we filled the holes. I think the Cowboys are, you know, they're going to take for a position of want now. I think Jerry Jones has always kind of been a want guy, but he's always also filled a hole. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe Jerry Jones trades up, you know. Maybe he sits alone in Cabo again or whatever he was, makes his mind up here. Uh, you know, that's good you're, you're looking forward to the draft, Seth, because, you know, the draft is a fun time. Uh, I will not be looking forward to the draft until I'm – let me check. Tell him about 42 <laughs> years old. Uh, no big deal. Hey, listen, I've been there. I mean, you guys know this. I'm old. And, uh, you know, we've been looking. I've been looking forward to the draft for years and years and years. It's really never panned out. Adding these big ticket guys. I mean, this is some legendary rare shit for the Dolphins franchise as a whole. Yeah, this seems uh, like. This seems like Barry, you went through it, Barry. I mean, you obviously tell us all the time when it, during the season how you've been a Finns fan. You've been through the years of, you know, yeah. the rotating door of quarterbacks, and here you go. Right. And the, the Finns are stacked. The I mean, Dak is, Dak really, is finally really stacked are. in your favor. I mean, you know, can the, the can the Finns pull it off? I don't know, but yes, it's not looking forward to the draft. It's kind of weird, but uh, whatever. They got a second round pick. I mean, they got a top. Yeah, 50 it, maybe. It, didn't Igbenogany come from the second round? Who? No. Igbo. Igbo. Oh, no, I heard you. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, hey. Little, uh, no, he was in the first round. That was the three first round picks. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Picked him over. Oh, Trayvon Diggs. Probably, yeah. I mean, a lot of people. Uh, but they did not pick up – they haven't picked up anyone's fifth-year option other than Tua from that draft. So we'll see. 